dear students, welcome to our lesson. Hope you are okay and ready to study. Let's start our lesson. Don't forget to take your notebook and a pen or a pencil to make notes. In today's lesson, we are going to read the text, learn some new vocabulary, do a listening task and look at some grammar. Today we are going to talk about providing information. Firstly, I would like you to write down in your notebooks the ways that are used to provide information. You can start. You have probably come up with the following ideas. TV, radio, films, newspapers and theatre. Now let's do a vocabulary task. On the screen you can see five aspects of films and adjectives describing them. Your task is to choose the odd one in each aspect and decide which other aspect this adjective can describe. You can start. Now let's check. Story. Thrilling, overrated, charismatic and gripping. And the odd one here is charismatic. This adjective can describe performance. Next, plot. Intriguing, dull, confusing, high-tech. Here, the odd one is high-tech. And this adjective can describe special effects. Next, performance. Unexpected, unconvincing, compelling and captivating. The odd one here is unexpected. This adjective can describe ending. Next, special effects. Spectacular, complex, breathtaking, uninspiring. The odd one here is complex, which can describe plot. And the last aspect, ending, absorbing, forced, predictable and dramatic. The odd one here is absorbing, that can describe a story, plot or performance. Now you have some time to write these words down in your notebooks. Your next task is to divide these adjectives into two groups, positive and negative. You can start dividing them. Let's check. Here you can see all the positive adjectives. They are thrilling, charismatic, gripping, intriguing, high-tech, compelling, captivating, spectacular, dramatic, breathtaking, absorbing, unexpected and complex. Let's look at negative adjectives. They are overrated, dull, confusing, unconvincing, uninspiring, forced, predictable, unexpected and complex as well. If you have divided all the adjectives correctly, great! Your next task is to think about your favorite film and describe it using the adjectives that we have just learned. Write a short description in your notebooks.
Well done! After the lesson, share your description with your classmates. Now we are going to read a short passage. Firstly, read it yourself and choose the correct option to complete the sentences. Now let's read it together and check. The highlight of this year's student film festival was without a doubt Stand Up by Michael Johnson, a promising young director. Stand Up tells gripping story of a young teenage girl growing up during a war. The movie features an intriguing plot rife with suspense and drama. The actors were perfectly cast and gave such captivating performance that had the entire audience on the edge of their seats. The action scenes were excellent too and featured breathtaking special effects. Admirably, the director chose not to opt the predictable ending where the protagonist wins out, but chose to keep it more realistic and ambiguous leaving the possibility of a sequel. If you have completed all the sentences correctly, great! If you have two or three correct answers, well done! Now let's continue with the listening task. You will hear a recording about information. You will hear the recording twice. While listening, I would like you to complete the following notes with no more than one word for each answer. Now you have some time to look through the notes. Let's start listening. Information We are living in an age of information. That's what I keep hearing on TV and reading in newspapers. We are surrounded by information technology that puts information at our fingertips. To get ahead, you need the latest information. I'm not really sure how much information we need. Our brains can only handle a certain amount of information at a time. I reckon a lot of us have information overload. I'm sure before computers came along this didn't happen. One problem with computers is the amount of personal information online. I worry about putting confidential info on different websites. Of course, the great thing about computers is that we have so much information at our disposal. That's pretty useful. Now you will hear the recording for the second time. Check your answers yourself. Information We are living in an age of information. That's what I keep hearing on TV and reading in newspapers. We are surrounded by information technology that puts information at our fingertips. To get ahead, you need the latest information. I'm not really sure how much information we need. Our brains can only handle a certain amount of information at a time. I reckon a lot of us have information overload. I'm sure before computers came along this didn't happen. One problem with computers is the amount of personal information online. I worry about putting confidential info on different websites. Of course, the great thing about computers is that we have so much information at our disposal. That's pretty useful. Let's check together. We are living in an age of information. That's what I keep hearing on TV and reading in newspapers. We are surrounded by information technology that puts information at our fingertips. To get ahead, you need the latest information. I'm not really sure how much information we need. Our brains can only handle a certain amount of information at a time. I reckon a lot of us have information overload. I'm sure before computers came along, this didn't happen. One problem with computers is the amount of personal information online. 
I worry about putting confidential info on different websites. Of course, the great thing about computers is that we have so much information at our disposal. That's pretty useful. If you have completed all four gaps correctly, great. If you have two or three correct answers, well done. Now it's time for some grammar. Today we are going to talk about prepositions. You already know that some words require a particular preposition after them. Now let's do an exercise to check it. On the screen you can see five sentences that you need to complete with the correct preposition from the box. For, inter, with or by. You can use by twice. Now you can start completing the sentences. Let's check your answers together. Sentence number one. The school musical has been brought back by popular demand. Sentence number two. Young stage actors sometimes struggle to engage with the audience. Next one. For the contest, students submitted a screenplay that was inspired by real events. Number four. Over 20 drama students auditioned for the role before the teacher cast the past. And the last one. The script she wrote gave an insight into the struggles faced by young actresses today. If you have completed all five sentences correctly, great. If you have two, three or four correct answers, well done. Now, in your notebooks, I would like you to create your own sentences using these phrases. To be brought back by, engage with, to be inspired by, to be auditioned for, and insight into. Well done! We've had a very interesting lesson today. We have read the text, we have learned some new vocabulary connected to the topic, we have done a listening task and we have also looked at some grammar. Don't forget to share your descriptions with your classmates. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for your great work. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.